Pot odds is a fundamental mathematical aspect of poker that any serious poker player should know by heart. It's quite simple. Pot odds represent the odds you're getting on your money when calling a bet. Let's take an example where there's $100 in the pot and your opponent decides to bet half the pot. Now there is $150 in the pot and you have to pay $50 to call. 50 to win 150 is the same as 3 to 1, which means your pot odds is exactly 3 to 1. Calculating your pot odds and comparing it to the projected strength of your hand is vital for making the correct decisions at the poker table. This may seem trivial, but without a sound mathematical approach, it is very hard to do well in poker. If you fail to pay attention to the pot odds, you will end up paying too much money drawing with bad hands, essentially throwing good money after bad. Calculating your winning chance at any time in a game of poker is surprisingly simple, yet extremely important. It's all math. No luck here. It's a question of outs. Outs are the number of cards left in the deck that will improve your holding to the winning hand. For instance, if you have an open-ended straight draw on the flop, you will have eight outs twice to complete your straight and most likely give you the best hand. Out of the remaining 45 cards in the deck, you will have two chances to hit eight winners, constituting exactly 32.3% winning chance. Trust me, I just did the math. Precisely calculating your winning chance requires some advanced math skills, but luckily there's a much easier rule of thumb that will let you determine your winning chance fairly exact. The method is known as the rule of four and the rule of two. Four is the multiplier with two cards to come, and two is the multiplier with one card to come. So what you do is this. If you have eight outs on the flop, your chances of making the winning hand by the river is approximately eight times four, or 32%. If you have eight outs on the turn, your chances of making the winning hand on the river is approximately eight times two, or 16%. Memorize this method of calculating your winning chance. It's a must. Calculating your pot odds and continuously keeping track of your outs is essential in order to succeed in poker. Together, they represent one of the most valuable equations you need to master, because poker is all about getting the right odds compared to your winning chances. You should always look for spots where your chance of winning exceeds your pot odds. Let's take an example. If, for instance, you have a flush draw on the turn, there's two hearts on the table and two in your hand, you have nine outs to win, the nine remaining hearts in the deck. Now if your opponent bets $400 into a $400 pot, you should fold. You're getting two to one on your money, risking $400 to win $800. That means you need a 33% winning chance. Unfortunately, you only have approximately 18% to make the winning flush. Calling is seriously bad business. Folding is clear. Poker is a game of several betting rounds, and calculating your pot odds in one specific situation isn't always enough. Your decision will be followed by more action, influencing the price you have to pay and the odds you will receive. Figuring out what action will take place in the subsequent betting rounds is called calculating your implied odds. Let's take it one more time. Pot odds is a simple, straightforward math equation of the odds you are receiving right now. Implied odds is a much more difficult concept to grasp as it is impossible to figure out exactly what is going to happen in the future. Pot odds is science, implied odds is art. See you at theplayer.com. As an example, let's go back to the hand we discussed earlier in the pot odds section. You have a flush draw on the turn. You still have nine outs, the remaining nine hearts in the deck. Now if your opponent bets $400 
into a $400 pot, you should fold under normal circumstances, as your winning chances does not exceed your pot odds. But factoring in your implied odds changes the equation. If you can expect your opponent to invest more money in the pot when you hit your flush, that amount directly influences your pot odds. In effect, you're not calling $400 into an $800 pot. You're calling $400 into an $800 pot plus the extra money you're hoping to extract from your opponent when your flush hits. In this specific case, you need your opponent to call an extra $800 on the river to make your call on the turn profitable.